So you're now married to someone who is not in the porn industry. Um, how did, like, how did he know that you had done porn when you first started dating? Or was that a conversation that you had to have with him? And how did all of that, how did he take it? Uh, it, it was a, a conversation and um, it wasn't like a big deal. He was just like, okay. <laughs> and he's always been so supportive of everything, which is like the complete opposite of how I've ever experienced relationships. Like mm -hmm. I've only ever had pretty much everybody in my life, agents, boyfriends, and all of that stuff, always trying to control me and, um, <clears throat> you know, be mean to me and things like that. And he's always been extremely supportive and like, <clears throat> he's the first, also like the first person that I've ever met that encourages me to take a break. Whereas, you know, I, every, every situation that I've been in, even past relationships, people are always trying to push me, push me. So that's something I, I really love about him. Yeah. It means so, that he loves yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. And he cares about <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. you as a person. And your health and as yeah. a person and not about <clears throat> like what you represent or what you can get for him. Exactly. Which is, yeah. I mean, that's all like any of us can ever hope for. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, <clears throat> how did he come into your life? I mean, obviously we don't have to go into too much detail, but I just, I think about my relationship with my husband who's same thing. Like, he doesn't try to control me, supports mm -hmm. me, wants only what's best for me. Um, whereas I had a previous marriage where it was the opposite. Right. Very much tried to control me. Um, yeah. And I feel that it was a lot of like self-work that I did that mm -hmm. got me to a place where I was open to that kind of person coming yeah. into your life. Is, is that your experience, do you think? I think so. Yeah, because the, the relationship that I had before him it, it was like right after I had retired from the industry mm -hmm. so I had so much stuff to heal from mm -hmm. and <clears throat> uh yeah and then I took like two years was it two years maybe like a year or two to just stay s single and went to therapy and started journaling a lot and and then I met him <laughs> and, <laughs> and things just worked out we've been together ever since like almost seven years now oh yeah. wow that's awesome yeah it's actually like about <laughs> as long as me and my husband yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah it's i i find that the universe brings you the right person when you're ready for it right Do you know what i mean i think that sometimes we fall prey to the idea that a man is going to rescue us from this like, mm. situation that we're in and right. we can be broken and he's going to heal us. Yeah, but we have to heal ourselves. I find that when we heal ourselves, yeah. that's when the right person comes in. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I'm really I'm glad that you <laughs> had that experience. So what were the biggest lessons that you learned about yourself during your time off from the industry? Um, I think... One thing that I've taken away from all of this is especially um, looking back at how I went from uh, as like when I was in the industry, I, I, I loved it. And then after I had those bad experiences, I hated it. <laughs> so I, I've kind of learned to not have like black and white thinking towards things, especially when I work different jobs. I'm like, OK every job kind of has its pros and cons. Um, so it, uh, I think I've, I have like a more neutral mentality on things now yeah. as opposed to like that black and white thinking. I think also the other reasons like uh, our frontal cortex isn't developed until we're like 20, between 23 to 25. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the other thing. Uh, thing that contributed to me being so emotional and um with with the my perspective on yeah yeah absolutely I mean but then that's that is an argument and I don't know if you have an opinion on this because some people do some people don't that you know people shouldn't be able to get into porn until they're older like 21 or something mm. like that how do you feel about that it 
it's hard because you can do so many other things at, at 18. Yeah. So it's like, if you're going to gatekeep that, then you should gatekeep other things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. So on, on one hand, I, I do, but it's like, on the other hand, I don't. Um, cause other girls have had experiences where like porn was kind of saved them in a way if, mm -hmm. like they were stripping and in an abusive relationship and then they came to porn and it, it helped them get out of that situation. So I don't know. Yeah. 